We're going to take a look at how teachers can use uh, Google Drive, formerly known as Google Docs, to create shared folders with their students so that students can submit uh, documents and videos and photos via their Google Drive app on their iPad. So we're going to start off by just creating a little folder called Homework Third Hour. And then we need to go into that uh, Homework folder and make sure that we have our shared options set up so that kids can uh, edit and view that folder from their iPad. So we're going to set it up so that anyone with the link has it and uh, we're going to make sure that they can also edit it. Now we can share this folder out either through email, so we can email all of our recipients, um, or in this case what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste the URL. Since we have a closed uh, class in Edmodo, we're simply going to go over there and compose a little note to our students and ask them to click on the link of the URL that will share their folder into their Google Drive. So we have a little bit of a message composed. We're going to copy and paste that URL into Edmodo, and we're going to send that off to our geometry class. So as soon as we send that, we're going to go over to our student iPad and see what it looks like from the student version. So here I am. I'm logged into my uh, student account. I see that I've received one new post, and I'm going to click on that and that's the post that just came from our teacher account. So we're going to select a link to that folder and it's going to pop that into our Google Drive. So we can hit on the Google Drive to see what that looks like and there it is up in the top left hand corner. Uh, but instead of going in through the desktop version of Safari, we're actually going to open up the app Google Drive and we're going to sign in to our Google account. So here's our student signing in uh, to their Google account and we're going to see that same folder appear in this Google Drive. Sometimes, however, um, when it first opens up, it's not going to show right away, uh, even if we refresh it. Uh, so sometimes the best thing to do is to do a search for the name of that folder. So I'm going to type in my homework third hour and search for it, and I'm going to find anything that has the word homework in it. And I see that that's down here at the bottom of my list. So I'm going to select that folder and I'm going to hit the little share arrow up at the top right hand corner and I'm going to add that to my drive. So I just say move it here and now when I go back to my drive it should appear at the top of my list in my folders. I'm just going to start it for easy access later on. Now I can open up that folder and again by hitting that little share arrow I can see uh, who has access to this folder. Uh, with I, when I'm in the folder I now have the ability to create a new Google Doc so I'm just going to uh, name this test document and it's going to pop up and give me the ability to type up a new document. So you can see that says now I have the ability to create a Google Doc right from Google Drive and when I'm done with it I uh, will save it to um, this folder. Now I can see that it's in my third hour homework folder and I see that my teacher has the ability to edit it. I can change that ability to just comment or I can change it to uh, just view. I'm now going to go back and show you how uh, to add a, another type of um, file to your Google Drive. So again, when you're back out here, the little plus arrow at the top allows you to pull from your camera roll. So in this case, we're going to take a look at adding just a photo. So here's a photo from my camera roll. I'm now going to hit that little share arrow up in the top right hand corner and I'm going to move it to my third hour homework folder. So as soon as I move it there, my teacher now has the ability to access that photo and see the work that I've done using the Sketch app. Another thing that I can do is I can add a video. And again, I can either do this from my Google Drive or from my homework third hour folder. And it's going to take this video and it's going to upload it in. So here's three types of files that we have uploaded into our shared folder and now we're going to actually swipe back to see what the teacher end of this is going to look like. So on the teacher end they're going to actually go back to their Google Drive and you can see now that there are three files, those same three files, the photo, the test document, and the video that are saved into that folder. So now the teacher has the ability to access the student content, to make comments on their content, and to view any uh, videos or photos that were saved to it. So that's a nice easy way uh, for students to submit their work to teachers using Google Drive all from the iPad.